Hi folks, Kentucky History Treasures is back, this time in the Kentucky Military History Museum with curator Bill Brighton. Bill, education is, is the key here, and you've got a gorgeous museum, a lot of wonderful artifacts, but you've actually come up with these new interactive displays now that really helps uh, visitors here kind of put uh, the right weapon with the right soldier. This is very cool. Explain how this is all working here. Okay, well what we have is, uh, we have kind of a simple concept here to explain why different firearms were made during World War II. Mm. Uh, here in our World War II section we have three different firearms that you'll see on display and we have three different soldiers that have slightly different jobs. Okay. And uh, what The officer, the paratrooper, and the infantry. That's correct. Okay. And what we've done is we've taken the M1 Grand, the 45 pistol, mm -hmm. and the paratrooper model of right. the M1 carbine. The, the carbine, right. And we've asked the visitor to match the weapon for the to the right tool for the soldier. Very so. good. Okay. And uh, this is this is really the direction museums are moving in. It's not just about looking at things through glass cases. This is really understanding and, and being able to, to, to touch the items as well. So right. so uh, kids can come up, not just kids, but we can too. Right, exactly. And say, okay, so we want to match the right weapon for the officer. So I, I say that uh, that Colt uh, 911 Auto looks pretty good for All him. Right. Well, we have a, a real simple mechanism. We just have a little USB drive, and you okay. plug it in right here where it says the officer. And if we get a green light, we're right. That's a gentleman's weapon, a real mark of leadership. There and the go. officer tells you just what he thinks about it. Very good. Well, let's get one wrong here. Okay. Uh, let's try to put, uh, well, obviously, the, the paratrooper would probably use this, uh, this folding stock right. carbine. So let's, let's put it with the infantryman and see what, see what he would say. Okay, we'll see how that works. Uh, no green light. Give me a puny rifle like that. It's too small for my job, and it doesn't pack a punch. Whoa, a little scolding there from him. A little okay. scolding. All right, so this is not just uh, learning about the, the item itself, but the functionality of, of, the, uh, of the weapon and right. why it was designed for each specific soldier and specific job. Exactly. That's, that was our goal, and to uh, begin that, that thought process as you move through the museum and see other weapons. And Very good. Maybe it'll spark an idea in you to say, why was that one designed? That and yeah, you have a couple other stations, too, a, some Civil War rifles down there. We sure do, and we have a modern rifle set up just uh, on the second floor. Excellent. Well, we want to encourage folks to come out to the Kentucky Military History Museum here. Uh, I, I keep saying it's a new renovation, but you guys have been up and running with this new look for what? We've uh, been up for a few years. We, uh, we years opened uh, in uh, 2011, but we've uh, continually expanded the exhibit. Very good. Well, it is definitely something to take in here in Frankfurt, and we hope to see you next time around right here on Kentucky History Treasures.